I begin by taking a look at my four node cluster. I'm going to uh, move available storage to my new source, which is simply selecting the source, picking a node to move it to. You can see this is all asymmetric. And then I'm going to enable replication. I can use the CSV or the classic physical disk resource. If I'm not allowed to configure something, SR won't let me set it up. So storage replica only allows me to set up a CSV or physical disk. Uh, in this case, I switch it to CSV. And now I can enable replication. This wizard pops up. It gives me the rules of the road for configuring storage replica. And the prerequisites, what I need to accomplish. And uh, because I picked a source, now I must pick a destination. And it's got to match the same size. And in this case, uh, I only have one disk that matches. And once I choose that, uh, I will be uh, asked to pick a source and a destination log disk. Those just need to have at least 8 giga free space, and they should be on SSD. And in this case, I'm using virtual machines. And trust me, it's not. Uh, I also pick a destination. And as long as it has at least 8 giga free space, it will be allowed. So now I've selected a source and a destination and my logs. I can decide whether or not to seed and in technical preview 2 that does nothing so click next and I'm doing replication where I'm actually just provisioning it. The replication hasn't started uh, necessarily when I finish this wizard it's configuring replication, and then that will begin to happen. And I have a status area now, this tab called replication, that shows me that I'm performing a recovery, and then I'm now replicating. So now if I want to move data in my stretch cluster, um, and that is to say change the source of replication, I simply pick the source and select another node in the same site, and it instantly moves. So now that is the source of replication to the other half of the cluster. Now if I pick another node in a different site, I will actually change the direction of replication. And you can see that that's already happening and has happened. Now I'm going to remove replication, as unlikely as that may be. I simply select the source of any node, right click, choose replication, and choose remove. You'll see that automatically replication is taken away. All the storage that was being replicated is returned back to available storage, except for the source, which remains a CSV. And if I want to remove that from CSV, that's my option. Now, if you are replicating something that doesn't use CSV, like a traditional file server, first I need to create a role that uses the, the, old, the older style PDR. In this case, I'm going to use a, uh, a file server for general use. And I'll give it some kind of name and some kind of IP address. I'll pick some storage. Don't like that one. Don't like that one. Yeah, that looks good. And I'll configure my file server. And this role is an old one within the cluster and long predates CSV. Once this comes online, I can enable replication on it. I return back to my storage. I pick my file server owned storage, I enable replication and go through the same thing as I usually do.